Okay. I've been doing a few of the demos today. One of them was a mushroom pendant. And I think you'll like it. I enjoyed doing it. Enjoy your day. Okay. Now, one of the things that I have been thinking about doing, and, you know, a lot of people are into them, is shrooms, dude, shrooms. It wasn't really on the list, but I'm going to put it on the list. And I'm going to, from time to time, that's one of the things, especially in my first videos, that I really enjoyed, was just coming up with ideas that you guys would might be interested in. First of all, I do my mushrooms a little bit different than most, and this may take a little bit of time, but I'm going to do it anyway. First I encase, and I'm only going to do this little inch rod, and you'll see that this inch rod is going to turn into a very long rod after I encase it and stretch it. This is going to become the stem of the mushroom. Before I'm finished, it'll probably be about three to four inches long. Because the idea is to encase a lot of clear over it when you're making the mushroom. Next layer. Tell you what. Eh, why not? Let's just split. Same idea. This is the way I encase. You can use tubing. Heavy wall. Encase it and suck it in, you know, suck, um, back stack, whatever. Interesting way of doing it, too. This is my poor man's back stack, basically. <laughs> I'm going to probably do this one more time. Oop. I need one more line here. There we go. As you can start to see, you can sort of see the clear all the way around it, which is good. I'm going to do one more. And actually, I'm going to pull this off. I should have started with a thinner rod to begin with, I guess. But as you can see, even that one inch rod has now turned almost to three inch rod with the encasing going on. I'm going to pull it off right about here. Uh, I'm going to pull it off right about here. And I'll get back to do, in case, finishing casing this one later. Of course it stays on there. Stay. Now. This is the third layer. This should be enough to give you the demo. And this isn't just going to make one mushroom. You can make, with the amount of stem that I've done, you could make at least five to ten mushrooms, not more, the way I make them. And this also gives you a bloomed shroom, not just uh, a shroom mushroom that uh, sort of looks like it's, you know, rounded down and also as you press it into the glass, Sometimes you tend to force it and it can snap and you either burn your finger on the piece of hot glass or all right it wants to slump on me. That's okay. This is going to be good enough to do the job that I want it to do. Nice encased mushroom stems. 
And again, you can do a whole, excuse me, you can do a whole lot of this. Take your time and do it right. Prep work is important. As you can see, even as I'm doing it, it's thick and thin, thin and thick. I guess that's the main reason why that it's like that is because I'm talking and trying to concentrate on what I'm doing and sometimes I'll lose something in the translation. Okay. This is where it gets fun. The way I did that, it swirled a whole bunch of color right at the tip. And I'm going to go ahead and break that off. By pinching and bending it back and forth, it broke right off. And I don't know if you can see that. But you can see the nice orange and all the clear around that orange. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. First part of the mushroom done. The stem. Boom. Now you pick a color for the actual shroom, dude. Okay, I'm going to use, and I have available, I guess this is periwinkle. You don't need a lot. You're just going to cover the actual top layer of that whole rod and encasement. That's all you need. Okay. Looking a little like a mushroom already. I'm going to give this white spots. And the white spots are basically touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull. Just, and those become white spots. And then you can heat it in and round it down. Okay. Are we having fun yet? This is where it gets more comamaclated. Not really a lot, but more. Um, trying to find a nice size rod here. Okay, this is about 5 mil. And you can use 5 or 6, doesn't matter. But what you're going to do, this is the most important part. Wear the two pieces of glass, the mushroom top and the stem on the bottom come together. You sort of leave that blank. Don't put any clear glass on it at all. But you can encase the top like this. And you encase some more clear down at the bottom like this. There is a method to the madness here. Okay, some more. It's, yeah. Now what's going to happen is glass rounds into itself. And where there's a void or a canyon, as you heat up the glass, it'll all come down to the same height. And as you heat up that glass and it does that, the mushroom starts to bloom. And there you got a bloom shroom, dude. Now, A lot of fun and not as complicated as a lot of people would have you think. Uh, where is a pointy when you need it? Ah, oh, there we go. 
graphite rod to sort of ream the Now you say, oh, it's a little bit too long right now. High-tech device, uh, wire cutters. I'm going to be nipping it off right about at the bottom of this thing, okay? And I put the, um, the scissor side closest to the mushroom. And you can nip it back and forth. And then finally, there it goes. Now you got enough to start another mushroom or two. Cold weld. Fire polish. Now you can add more clear over the whole thing right now. In other words, if you wanted a bigger marble mushroom or whatever. But right here like it is, it's a nice little mushroom. Hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy your day. Okay. Tried to do this on the graphite pad and you can see that it's basically turned invisible. So I decided to show you again one bloomed shroom. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click like, click subscribe. Any comments, questions, requests, give it a try. Might just come through for you.